Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Kaylee and today's class is a 45 minute spicy full body Pilates workout using long bands. This is a reformer on the mat style class, lots of reformer inspired sequences and they are the long open loop bands. So go ahead and grab these if you have them. If you don't, you could potentially sub a mini band for some of the sequences and I can give that modification, but I highly recommend getting some of these, especially if you love reformer Pilates because these are such a good dupe for at home when you're not going into the studio to take a reformer class. I have them linked down below in my Amazon storefront if you would like these exact ones that I literally just bought a week ago to film this class. I have the light and the medium here. It comes with three. Um, I just feel like for my range of motion today, light and medium is going to work for me, but you grab whatever you have. I'll also give modifications if you have no equipment at all and want to do this totally body weight. There is a playlist down below and I sequence my classes to music. So if you hear me counting, I'm usually counting the beats of the music rather than our reps or movements. So if you get confused and it feels like it doesn't match up, that's why I've been getting some comments about that recently. So I just wanted to clear that up. All right, let's get started on our back with the heavier of the two bands. So for me, that is the medium. Coming all the way down, feet step in, knees are bent, and then grab for the band. Take it about shoulder width distance, and then take the hands down by the sides, and the band will just naturally come just below the hips. From here, press your palms down into the mat to create tension on the band. We'll start with our bridging. So ground into the feet. On your inhale, start to lift, curl, tailbone, sacrum, low back, mid back, pressing up and then lower one vertebra at a time, all the way back down. Tailbone the last thing to meet the mat. Inhale to lift, push into the feet. Right away, feeling that resistance on the band. Inhale to lift. And exhale to lower. If you have a mini band, you could slide it around the thighs. It goes right above the knees, and you'll feel that burn in the glutes. If you don't have any equipment, you're just doing a bridge with nothing, body weight on the mat. Press into the feet to lift and lower. You're really feeling that in my glutes, my hamstrings with this band. We're also warming up the arms since they're doing the work to hold the band down. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower. We'll do a couple more. All right, next time, hold it up, little pulse. Lift, lift, lift. Good. Drive into your heels, let the toes be light. Breathe into the backside of the legs. Here's eight, seven, six, five. We keep this pulse, we'll jog the heels in four, three, two, one. Keep the pulse, right heel, left heel, right, left, alternating, lifting one heel off of the mat at a time, right, left, right, left, good. Continue to press your hands towards the mat. Up and up, press, press, good. Here's four, three, two, right heel stays up, keep that pulse, lift, lift. Up and up. Here's four. Try to press equally both hips into the band. All right, back to that jog side to side, right and left. You're still pulsing the hips. I know the glutes are on fire. Stay with it. Left heel stays lifted. 
right here. Keep that pulse up and up. Good. Lift and lift. Up and up. All right. We lower the hips down in three, two, one. Drop the left heel, roll all the way back down. Keep that band in the hands, but reach it up over the chest and then take the legs up to your tabletop, point the toes. Take a deep breath in. On the breath out, start to crunch and take the band towards the shins. You might want to take the fingers, the hands in a little bit closer together. Inhale to lower and exhale to crunch up. Inhale to lower, exhale to crunch. Now try to press the band down. Good, inhale to lower. Exhale to crunch, press the band down. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Good, next time you hold it lifted, neck and shoulders, just pump the arms, press into the band, keep the legs super, super still. So the band is around the shins. Feel that working your deep transverse core. If you need to lay the head back, option to lay the head back. If you don't have the band, you're just pumping the arms by the sides. Last eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Pull the knees into the chest. Give that a release. Breathe in. And breathe out. Beautiful, keep this band. Just roll up to a seat and come to kneeling. We'll start kneeling and then we'll move to a tabletop shape. So reaching the band out in front of you and you want the arms just a little bit wider than shoulder width distance. Knees are underneath hips. Toes can be tucked underneath you for a little bit more support. Let's pull the band wide, squeeze the shoulder blades together and then reach it back forward. Pull it wide and reach forward, good. Pull it wide, reach, really feel that squeeze of the shoulder blades together behind you. While you're here, try to keep the wrists straight. So the knuckles are in line with the wrists. The tendency is to let the knuckles lift up and then have your wrists in flexion, but can you keep them straight? So no tension in the wrists, the hands. Good, you'll feel the shoulders start to light up as well. Last four, three, keep the arms wide. Little pulse right here, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, tabletop into one. All right, transition to your tabletop. Keep the band where it is but walk the right hand in a little bit more. Plant through the right hand, keep the left hand gripping onto the band, and then we'll pull the left elbow up by the side, kick the left arm back, and bend. Tricep kick back, continuing to warm up the arms. Your right hand is holding the band. Your left arm is straightening by your left side. Good, extend, option to stay with this. If you wanna take it to a bird dog shape, right leg will extend as you extend the left arm. So right leg goes back and down, back and down. A little extra challenge for the core. Also starting to warm up through the right glute, press. Lower, good. Press, lower. You're gazing just slightly forward at the top of the mat. So the neck is nice and long. Couple more. Down, up. Good. Here's four. Let's keep it extended in three, two, and one, keep it extended, little pulse arm and leg. Just eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, release that down, come back to kneeling. In between sides, arms go up to the sky, arms are just 
slightly wider than shoulder width. We'll dip over to the right, feeling that stretch on the left side body. Lift back through, the, through center and then switch. Couple side bends, starting to warm up our obliques. Give the wrists a break. Side to side, you're holding tension on the band. So the shoulders still feel work happening. Just a couple more and then we move on to the second side. Last one each side. All right, drop it down. Keep the band in the hands, but work your left hand a little bit closer to your right. Holding it, palm is flat on the mat, and then pull your right elbow up, extend back, and bend in. And you have the power to let go of any tension by sliding the left arm farther down the band, giving yourself more space. So you control the strength, the tightness, of the band. Good. You gaze slightly forward, neck is long, elbow stays high. All right, let's add the left leg right here. Extend it back, bend it in. Extend, bend, keep your core super engaged, hips are square to the mat. Notice if your left hip is popping up. Can you draw it down? Good. Extend, pull. Extend, pull. Beautiful. We're almost out of the sequence. Stay with it. All right. The arm and leg stay extended. Right here, a little pulse. Eight seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Beautiful, lower it down. Press yourself back to a child's pose for a moment. Releasing the head, take a deep breath in, and a deep breath out. Beautiful, on your inhale, come on up. You can move that heavier band off to the side or keep it. I personally, right now for my body, I'm gonna go lighter for the glutes. So the band is gonna go around our right foot. So you thread one side of the band in between the legs. The middle of the band goes to the arch of the right foot. And then the hands hold the band at the top of the mat. If you have a mini band instead, you could slide it around your thighs, just like our first sequence. And I like the lighter one just because it gives me a full extension. So press into the hand so that the band doesn't fly away. Right leg will extend back, keep the foot flexed. Back for two, forward for two. Back, forward, good. Feeling that right away in the right glute, right hamstring. Back for two, in for two. If you need to readjust, of course, at any moment you can, just to make it more comfortable to hold the band. That feels a little bit more stable for me. It also is a little bit heavier for my leg. So just like before, the more you walk your hands down the band, the more tension you'll feel in your glute and your hamstring as you kick the leg long. In and out, keeping the hips square just like the last sequence. So in this case, right hip will be rolling slightly down if it feels like it's popping up. And like you're pressing the band away every time you extend the leg. Beautiful. In and out, you got it. Couple more, reach long, bend in, reach long, bend in. Here's four, three, two, 
Hold it long, little bend extends. So it's half range of that movement we were just doing. Tiny bend, press, good. Your hips are still square. Soften in the elbows, push, push. Your core is bracing, push, 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 yes. Beautiful. Press, press. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Both sides of the band go into the right hand from here. We'll place the left forearm down in three, two, one right here. All right, to transition, right knee goes down. Both hands, or both sides of the band into the right hand. It will stay where it is on the mat. Left forearm goes down and then start to open the hip so the band will be down. Right knee lifted in line with the hips if you can get it there. Kick it back long, bend it in. Kick it long, bend it in, good. In and out, feel that little oblique moment as the knee pulls in. Feeling this more in the outer hip, outer glutes, as you kick the right leg back. Beautiful. Press and press. You could even hold on to the band as well with the left hand just to make sure it doesn't fly out. Make sure it's a little more stable. Your hips are open, but not 100% stacked. Kick and pull. Oh my goodness. All right. Keep it long right here. Tiny lift to the sky. Up and up. Lift and lift. We transition to the arms from here. It's going to feel like a great relief. Lift, lift. To transition, we'll take the knee down. And we're going to slide the band underneath the knees. Come back to kneeling in four, three, two, one. All right, right knee down. Keep the band sort of where it is. Just untuck the right toes so that the band can come underneath the knees. From here, the band is in the hands. The palms face up or forward and thumbs face out. We'll lift it up shoulder height and then lower it down. Good. Lift up, lower, beautiful. Lift and lower. Hello, delts, biceps. Make sure you're keeping a soft bend in the elbows so the joints are safe. Up for two and down for two, good. Spine is straight, shoulders stacked over hips. Core is bracing so the torso is staying super still regardless of what you're doing with the arms. Lift, lower, up, and down, good. Lift, and lower, up, and down. Here's four, three, arms stay up, little pulse, right here, tiny lifts, up, and up. We'll take a little break after this. Give me eight more counts. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Release it down. Great work. You can come off that band for a moment and just press the hips back. Child's pose. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, when you're ready, come on back up and let's switch sides. So left leg is gonna move this time. To set it up, slide the band underneath the left knee and then using the hands to help take 
the band around the arch of the foot. The one side of the band will be through the legs and then walk the hands forward and finding a good grip on the band where your hands are flat in a tabletop, but the band feels stable. Flex the left foot, right toes are untucked. We kick it back. Three, two, one, back for two, in for two. All right, know that this side will feel different. Maybe because your left leg is a little bit tighter or not as strong, or maybe the opposite. Whatever it is, know that the, the two sides don't need to be perfectly symmetrical in order to do this right. The shoulders are definitely feeling a little bit more sore on this side. So just taking all of those things into account, giving yourself a break. If you feel the mind taking over, reminding yourself that you made it to your mat today. The only thing that matters in this moment is for you to stay present in your body, in your breath. Reach back. Pull in. Oh my goodness. Reach back. Pull in. Hips are square. Ribs are pulling towards the hips for your front core engagement. Soft bend in the elbows. And you're gazing just slightly forward so the neck is long. Reach and pull. Reach and pull. Good. A couple more counts. Then we'll extend the leg. Find that mini bend extend. Next time we're there. Extend it long, tiny. Bend, press, bend, press. The leg definitely doesn't have to be hip height. You can aim for that as a goal energetically, but if it doesn't look like that, that is perfectly okay. As long as you're feeling this work happening in your left hamstring and left glute, you are doing it right. Notice if you're rolling more to your right side, can you put more weight into your left hand to sort of even out that weight distribution? Bend, press, bend, press. So good. Push, push, push. Push, push, push. All right, here's four. We move to our open hip part of the sequence. In three, two, one, drop the left knee. Take both sides of the band into your left hand. Continue to press the left hand into the mat. You can hold the band with the right hand as well just to make sure it doesn't go anywhere. Right forearm is across the mat. And then from here, get your knee out of the band. Externally rotate your left leg, lifting, maybe in line with hip, maybe a little bit lower. And then kick it back, pull it in towards the elbow. Kick it back, pull it in towards the elbow. Reach, pull. The inside of your foot is pointing down to the ground rather than the toes. So you have external rotation through your whole leg. Good. In, out. So beautiful, keep breathing. This is our last leg sequence for this class. Reach and pull. All right, we hold it back. We find those little pulses. In two, one, hold it back. Tiny lift to the sky. Up and up. Your left foot is flexed. Your hips are stacked-ish. Up and up. Lift and lift. Engage your core. You got it. Just eight. We come to kneeling in four, three, two, one. Come on down. 
take that band out from underneath the foot, come to kneeling so that the band is underneath the knees and then cross the band, holding it either end, your thumbs face out, your palms face up, elbows by the sides, pull the band wide and then pull it back to center. So trying to do this movement without moving your elbows, it's really tricky. It's okay if they move a little bit, but you wanna think about magnetizing them in towards the ribs and just rotating from your forearms, working into our rotator cuffs, deep shoulder muscles, your chest is broad, shoulders are stacked over hips, core is engaged. Notice if your ribs are flaring forward at all, can you draw them closer towards the spine? Whew. You got it. Here's four counts. We'll hold it wide, pulse it back, and then we are out of this sequence. In two, in one right here, tiny press back. Tiny press back, your palms face up. Press, press, press. Last eight, six, oh my goodness. Four, three, two, one, release. Awesome job. All right, that light band goes off to the side and we'll take our heavy, or medium, whatever the heavier bands that you have is and come all the way down onto our back cruising through this class. All right, the band is going around your right foot. If you don't have the band, you're modifying without. And then take both hands onto the band, but walk them down a little bit. And then the rest of the way, just pull the elbows down so you have a lot of tension on the band. It will kind of depend on your leg once we lower it, but you want your elbows grounded and hands holding on either side of the band. From here, we're gonna lower the right leg down to the diagonal, take it out to the side, and then back up, so a circle. Down to the diagonal, out to the side, up, back in line with the hip. So we want to do this without moving the upper body, the core. Elbows stay grounded. And your wrists are stacked over the elbows. Good. Circle, circle. Sort of a medium sized circle. Good, here's four, three, two, and one. Now hold the leg above the hip, keep the upper body where it is, extend the left leg long to the ground. Let's lower the right leg to meet it. Down and up. Lower and lift. Maybe that means you lift the left leg a little bit if it's too challenging. You could also do this with the foot grounded if that feels a little bit more accessible for you today. Breathing. All right, we're gonna hold both legs long in four counts. The left foot will come into the band as well We'll find a diamond shape in two, in one. All right, float your left foot into the band as well. And then bend the knees into the chest so that you're holding the band the same as you were before, but the band is now in between the legs. Press the heels together, the toes wide, flexing the feet, and then press into the feet, keeping that diamond shape in the legs. Pull back in, press it out. Pull it in, elbows are grounded, press out, pull in, good, press and pull. So when you extend, you have external rotation in the thighs still, feeling this through the inner thighs, press your low back into the mat, 
just enough to correct any rounding in the front of the core. Good, all right, we're gonna switch sides soon. We'll keep the knees in and float the right leg down to the ground. In two, one, right here. All right, knees stay in, take the right foot down, take the left leg up to the sky, hands stay exactly where they are, and then let's do that again. We lower down to the diagonal, take it out wide, and then back up for your circle. Lower, round, and up. Elbows stay grounded. Your ribs are pulling in towards your hips. Breathing. You got it. All right, next time, let's hold the leg in line with the hip, and then extend the right leg to the diagonal, keep the arms where they are, lower the left leg to meet the right, and then lift it back up. Lower, lift, lower, lift, good. Lower, and lift, Woo. lower, and lift down and up, down and up. Here's four, three, two, last one. Hold it down and then take both feet into the band. So both feet are in. This time keep the arms where they are. Pull the knees straight into the chest and then extend them back out. So knees are together, toes are together. Feet are in parallel. Your arms are staying exactly where they are. In and out. All right, four. Let's lift the head, neck, and shoulders as we extend. The elbows will lift. In two. In one. Right here, extend the arms, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Pull it back in. Maybe you tighten the tension on the band knowing where we're going. Extend and lower. Extend and lower. Good. Extend and lower. All right. Option to stay with this or we're going to float up to a teaser. Pull the knees into the chest to start. Next time, let's do it. So as we lift, we extend the legs, pulling the knees into the chest, come all the way up, and then lower it back down, pull the knees into the chest. Good, again. Start to extend the legs, pull the knees into the chest, there we go, and lower it back down. Last couple of these. Option this time to fully extend the legs as you lift. So you might need to walk the hands higher up on the band, knowing where we're going. Extend and lower. Curling one vertebra at a time up off of the mat. Good. All right, next time, let's hold it up. Hold it up, row the arms back, and then reach them long. Row and reach, just a couple. Row and reach for four, three, two, and one. All right, from here, start to lower the legs down, and you can walk the hands farther up the band. Let's find some arm work to finish. Flex the toes, the band is still around. The, let, the feet reach the fingers forward. Bicep curl, reach long. Pull and reach your palms face in. Holding the band, your elbows are trying to lift up shoulder height. It's okay if they're not quite there. 
Sit up really tall. Your shoulders are drawing together slightly behind you. Your chest is broad and you're rooting your tailbone towards the ground, the crown of the head to the sky. Reach and reach good. Here's four, three, two, hold it long. Now lean back, find a diagonal, row the right arm as you rotate and then reach it forward, switch. Left arm and forward, right. And left, feel this in your obliques. Right and left. Right and left. One more each side. And then come all the way back up. Find a fold over the legs for a moment. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out to let it go. Again, inhale and exhale. Beautiful, all right. Move that band off to the side so we can grab the other one. Let's come back to a tabletop shape. Where we're going, left hand will hold the band. We're gonna find a plank and rotate open to a side plank. So as we do, we're gonna reach the band up to the sky. So you wanna have a good amount of space on the band for you to do that. Definitely wider than shoulder width distance. So the band will sort of be folded up while we're in our tabletop shape. From here, tuck the toes, lift the knees, find your plank. If you need to do this from a tabletop, that is also an option. Press into the hands, you're holding the band in each hand. We'll roll to our side plank, lifting the right arm to the sky. So the band will go across the chest, your heels dip towards the left, and then lower back down to our plank. Again, roll, open to the right, lower back to your plank. If you need the modification, you're on the knees, toes are untucked. As you roll, you let the feet go over to the left and lift the band up and then take the feet back for your tabletop shape. We're not here for too, too long, so keep breathing. Strong finish for this class. Breathing, you got it for four, three, two, one. Hold it in your side plank. We're gonna bend the knees and reach the arm overhead and then take the band back across the chest as we straighten. Bend, extend, good. Bend, extend, whoo. Bend, extend. Last four, three, two, and one. Come on back to your plank and then drop to the knees. Press the hips back for a moment. Find your child's pose. Take a deep breath in and a deep breath out. Let it go. Beautiful. Come back to your tabletop. Let's do that second side. So you can keep the band exactly the length that it is, but pressing down through your right hand this time so that there's a little bit of folding in the band towards the left. Ground through both hands, tuck the toes, lift the knees, find your plank pose. And then same thing, left arm lifts this time. So we'll reach left arm to the sky, roll the heels to the right, lower back down plank. Lift it up, lower it down. Reach, lower, think about squeezing your shoulder blades together as you reach the band overhead. Good. Again, your modification is on the knees, rolling the feet to the right as you open. We're almost there. All right, next time. Let's keep it open. We'll bend the knees, reach the band overhead, and then straighten the arm back towards the back of the mat, straighten the legs. Reach overhead, 
pull it back. Reach overhead, pull it back. Reach, pull, reach, pull, good. Last four, three, two, and one. Come back to your plank, drop to knees, and drop all the way to the belly. Final push. Your band goes in your hands, and take them a little bit closer than shoulder width distance. We'll lift everything up and everything back down. A Little bit of posterior chain. Posture work to finish. If this is too much, you can always modify the movement by keeping the feet flat on the mat and just lifting the upper body up and down. All right, next time, keep it lifted. Row the arms back, reach forward, row back, reach forward. Last four, three, two, one. Drop it down, great work. All right, put that band off to the side or leave it where it is. Press yourself back, child's pose. Hips towards heels, arms reach forward. You could also bend at the elbows just to release through the upper body a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. And a deep breath out. Again, inhale, fill up. Exhale, sigh, let it go. Last time, inhale. And exhale. From here, reach the left arm forward and just slide your right arm underneath. Gazing over towards the left, feeling that stretch in the right shoulder. And then release the right arm and switch. Left arm goes underneath the body, lay the head down. And then release left arm long, forehead meets the mat. And come up to your tabletop. Tuck your toes, send the hips back, down dog. Pedal it out right and left, bend into one knee at a time. Eventually make your way to stillness. And then step your right foot outside of your right hand, drop down onto your left knee and untuck your left toes. You can stay lifted on the hands if that feels like your edge. If you want to go a little bit deeper, you can drop to the forearms and see how that feels. For me today, I'm staying lifted. You can sway. You can stay still. And then ground through your left hand or forearm and take your right hand to your right thigh, rotating open, maybe the gaze follows the right shoulder. And then if you'd like to go deeper, curl the back knee into the glute, take hold with the hand. Drop the hips lower for maximum stretch in the left quad and hip flexor. And then gently release. We'll tuck the toes and the hips back and switch sides. Left leg, left foot steps outside of the left hand, drop to the right knee. Untuck the toes. 
stay side to side or stay in stillness just like the other side but knowing that the two sides don't have to completely match what feels good on one side might not feel that great on the other so honor your body where it is And ground through your left, or your right hand rather, or forearm, and then find your twist. Press into the left thigh to rotate the chest open towards the sky. eventually curling the right heel in towards the glute if you want a little extra quad and hip flexor stretch. And gently release. One final time, tuck the toes and the hips back, down at dog and then drop to the knees. You are finished, great work. I hope you enjoyed that class, had some fun. Please let me know down below in the comments if you did. If you would like more classes with me, I have an app called The Glow Method and I would love to have you over there. Over 450 classes and I go live once a month. This style class or a yoga sculpt and it's a really fun workout with the community and truly the highlight of my month. So if you would like to join us over there, there's a seven day free trial for all new members. And I appreciate you for being here so, so much. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.